Proverbs 11, 22 My Swine Only Fan Farm Proverbs 11, 22 As a ring of gold in a swine's snout, so is a beautiful woman who lacks discretion. When I was in middle school, I remember the teacher giving a lesson about hygiene. Saying, you kids should shower and use deodorant, but putting on deodorant without a shower will not work. I love beautiful women, but what attracts my attention now differs from when I was not a Christian. I remember when the social media website MySpace had started and grown fast. I started an account and saw words like whore me, which was a way of asking anyone on MySpace to be their friend. Only the number of friends a person had mattered, not really knowing who the individual was. MySpace had social media models, like Tila Tequila and Christine Dolce, aka Forbidden. They were both very beautiful and very popular. Forbidden, Christine Dolce was the nickname of the queen of MySpace. She was into the goth look with facial piercing. Where lots of makeup like to hook up with many rock stars and party hard. Her image on MySpace was very revealing and very sexual, so that is how she gained a lot of friends. Ladies of all ages will be very revealing to get followers on social media. To the Lord, this is not pleasing to his sight, or to a genuine man of God, but just very foul indeed. Ms. Forbidden, Christine Dolce's life was not as pretty as her image. Since she partied hard, she got an alcohol addiction and developed a drinking problem. She tried to get help several times, but her addiction was stronger than her desire for change. She had liver failure because of alcohol abuse and spent months in the hospital during her last days and died at 35. Being beautiful does not give true happiness. In fact, it will provide the opposite if her soul is not beautiful. A woman of God gets her beauty in how she shows her love for God and others. Worldly beauty enhancement, like makeup, jewelry, revealing clothes, or provocative behavior, does not glorify a love for God but for self. Men are no different. A godly man shines his light for the Lord in how he lives and loves God and others as well. No bondservant of God should make a spectacle of themselves, but let how they live to give glory and reverence to God. God bless you all. The Lord Jesus loves you, and so do I. Samuel H. 1 Timothy 2, 9 Likewise, I want women to adorn themselves with proper clothing, modestly and discreetly, not with braided hair and gold or pearls or expensive apparel, ten but rather by means of good works, as is proper for women making a claim to godliness.